Hey y'all, it's Amanda from Peanut Butter and Jelly Time. Welcome to my channel. I hear something. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut you know what time it is, time. reaction peanut video time. time. Where y'all at? Peanut it's hump day too. Peanut it's hump day. All right. We are not doing the regular reaction trailers today. We are doing something a little different. We've done it before for some movies, um, but today we are Nutcrackins. Some posters. The new Nutcracker posters dropped. Dropped all new Nutcrackers posters. So let, why do I, I can't not, not say this anymore. Nutcrackins poster. The Nutcracker poster. And the four something. The four, the four realms. I knew that. The four realms. So bunch of posters came out new posters for the nutcrackings and let's just look i want to react to them i brought them up real quick i didn't take a good look i was just like oh they came out boom 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 saved them brought them up and now i want to check it out in detail y'all ready i should say go but first one let's do it like that first one is Mackenzie foy is she like so number one right, like let me say something first I just learned that Mackenzie Foy was the little girl in Twilight. You know who I'm talking about? When Bella and Edward did their deeds and then she got pregnant when she was a human, got pregnant with the half vampire, half human baby that came out. What was her? Oh, Esme. I even remember her name. Es Esme. Esme. As, I think it's something like that. Look, I'm close enough and y'all should be impressed. Esme, it was Mackenzie Foy who played her. The little girl who could, she would touch the face and she could, look, you can, she can show you things when just by a touch. Y'all know who I'm talking about. So she is the lead Nutcrackens. She's got the Nutcrackens outfit and everything. She has really grown up. She has really grown up. I don't even recognize her as uh, the little girl from Twilight. Not at all. So, and she was good. When she was in Twilight, she was so good. Y'all know that. She was so good in the movie Twilight. I was impressed. I, I was believing she was half human and half vampire. So, I, I bet she does good in the Nutcrackings. I bet you she does good. All right, next one. Oh, it's my girl, Kira Knightley, and uh, I forgot her name in the movie, but she looks like, maybe it is her name, The can is she the uh, cotton candy queen? Because <laughs> her hair looks good enough to eat, and I'm trying to do no snack September, and all I want to do is snack on that cotton candy hair. And then look, all this little stuff around there looks like it's little candies on her poster. And what, and even her eyebrows, like, they went all out. Her eyebrows are done. That costume, like, these costumes look really good. I have to look up who the costume designer for Nutcrackings is because I'm impressed. I'm impressed with Kira Knightley, who I'm calling the Cotton Candy Queen, her costume and whole attire. And, of course, she's pretty. She's always beautiful in that. Miss Cotton Candy Queen. Oh, look who's next. It's my boy, Morgan Freeman, Shawshank. And what happened to his eye? Did you get some shell in it? They not, they cracked those nuts too tight. They cracked them too hard, a shell went in it. You gotta be careful with those flying nut cracking shells. You gotta be careful. That could, look, Morgan Freeman will tell you, that will take out an eye. And what is he got like a little bird? Or is that, is he holding a nut cracking? No, that looks like a cane, but it's too little. I think he's holding some kind of nutcrackings with a bird on it. I think that's what he's doing. He's holding some kind of little nutcracking there because that doesn't look like a full cane. That's about, he's just holding it like this. It's not even, maybe it's a cane. <laughs> it could be a cane that I'm just not seeing. But it's some, look, I'm, I, you call, I'm calling it here first. That little thing with the bird on it is going to be, it's going to be something in this movie. It's going to be have some kind of magical powers. We will see. I'm calling it. That little bird, cane nutcracking slash 
we're not sure what it is. It's going to have a part in a movie. And is this little bird going to have a name? I don't know. If not, we're going to have to name the Nutcracker. It should be a little Nutcracker. Little Nut or Little Nutcrackens. Little Crackens. I like that better. Little Crackens. All right. Morgan Freeman took out an eye with some Nutcracking shells. But he looks, look, he looks like he ain't playing around. He does. Next up, Miss, Misty Copeland. I did not know who she was. I'm going to tell you all that now. I was not sure who uh, Misty Copeland is. And so I had to go Google her. I'll be honest with you. I had to go Google Misty Copeland. And apparently, she's like a real, real, uh, true ballerina. Like when I Googled her, and this was after I did the tra trailer reaction for the last, uh, last trailer, I went and Googled her and she is like a real life ballerina. Oh, I forgot one. I looked over. All right. We'll go back to her. I, I looked over. So let's talk some more about real life ballerina. So you know they're going to have some real stuff going on in this one. Some real stuff with ballerina and doing the ballerina. Because, I mean, that's what I know of Nutcracker. Is the ballerina moves. That's all the ballet. And that's why I fell asleep. But now I'm a little more optimistic about the movie. Because it looks like they're going to have uh, some candy land in there. And snacks. And I'm all about some candy land and snacks. But she is, look, they're, they don't play around. They don't play around. Disney don't play around when it's going to make. They're not going to just have some half uh, talented ballerina up there. They're going to bring to play in the movie. No, they're bringing up real ballerinas, Misty Copeland, to play in the Nutcracker. All right. And I was just saying I forgot one. And how could I forget this one? Helen Marin. I love her. I love her. And how could I miss her? How can I skip over this poster? Because this is the craziest poster of all. She got cracks all up in her face. They done, they done nut cracked Helen Marin in this movie. They done nut cracked. I don't even know what's going on in this movie. They done nut cracked Mar Mar uh, Helen Marin. It's getting crazy. I'm telling you. This is going to be more than we thought it was going to be. Nut cracked. Look, look at her face. You see. She got cracks right here. Cracks in her forehead. Melon, Her why is he say Melon Heron? <laughs> Helen Marin has been nutcracking. We're going to see what all that's about. I'm going to have to watch this movie. I was not going to watch it. Now I'm going to have to watch it because we're going to have to solve all these, these puzzles. How did Helen Marin get nutcracked? What's the name of uh, Morgan Freeman's little, little Kraken's bird? There's questions that we, we have to solve on this. All right. Next one, Jaden Forden Knight. Oh, I was going to say, I was like, oh, is that the Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's son? That's Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith, right? No, Jaden Forden Knight. When I saw Jaden, that's who I think of. I think of Jada Pinkett Smith, but I don't know. I should have Googled him because I don't know what he's from. Look, comment. Who knows what has he been? Is this his first role? Is he a ballerina too? Because that would be good. Him and Misty doing some of their ballerina moves. But I don't know. He don't have his ballerina suit on. He's got that. He might be a nutcracking soldier. Because he looks like he's got. He's ready to go crack some nuts him. He looks like he is ready to go crack some nuts. So he might be the nutcracking soldier. Next up. I don't even know about this guy. He looks like the king of Candyland. This one. Eugenio Derbez. Now look at his poster. First of all. They making me hungry. Because it looks like some kind of sugar-coated cherries all up in this poster. So they're making me hungry. When you go watch Nutcrackens, bring plenty of snacks. All right? But look at him. He looks like he could be the king of Candyland. With my girl Kira and her, can her cotton candy hair. Like, they look like a good pair right there. I don't know. What is he in? How do I always forget names of actors and what movies they're in. I always do this. So y'all gonna have to help me out. Eugenio Derbez. Eugenio Derbez. Let me know what else I would know him in. Because that's what my YouTube fans helped me with the Twilight Girl. I, wa I was like, oh, her? And they, they commented. They were like, the girl from Twilight. And I was like, it, it all clicked together. I was like, yes! So I know my YouTube people out there are gonna help me with some of these. All right? Oh, what's he do? 
doing? What is Richard E. Grant? He's some kind of ice call. He, Elsa got to him. <laughs> Elsa got to Richard. Oh, he's been frozen. Oh, Elsa girl, is she going to make an appearance? Because she doesn't look like she got to him. He is frozen. Even his fingers. He got icicle fingers. I don't know. See, there's riddles up in this we have to solve. We don't even know what's going on. Now, I don't know. Are they going to, oh, I, they got a candy land? They're going to have an ice land? Oh, well, we got to find out. Not cracking the full rounds. All right, last but not least. Who is, oh, Jack Whitehall. He's a nice looking fella. Now, you know who we, I, when I first looked at him right now, I thought he was in that one, that Princess Bride. He kind of has those fear. He looks too young to be in Princess Bride because I know that guy is about 80 right now. Maybe not that old, but he's old. He's old because the girl in Princess Bride, she's in Game of Thrones now, right? Cersei, isn't that the same girl? So I and she, so she still looks good, but she's a lot older. So I know this guy right here, Jack Whitehall, he ain't the prince, but he kind of has those features. He looks like he's the the nut nutcrackings in charge, don't he? And I see nutcrackings in charge right here. He got the posture and everything. So, oh, and, and he looks like he's wearing one of those wigs. He's cute. That's why I just keep staring at him. I might have to get, got it right here. I might have to get a little squirt. I might have to cool down from some Jack Whitehall. You're going to say, oh, oh, Jack Whitehall. True love. Remember, Princess Bride, true love, true love. And what else is it? As you wish, Jack Whitehall. Let me hear it. As you wish. I don't know. He just reminds me of them. He reminds me of the guy from Princess Bride. But he looks like, he look, he's just got his posture going, got the wig going. Now watch you be a bad guy. I'm going to be disappointed now that I had all these little feelings for a minute for some Jack Whitehall and, and then he becomes the bad guy. <sighs> don't you do this to me, Nutcrackens. Don't you do this to me. If he turns out to be the bad guy, I'm going to be upset. I might as well not watch the movie now. Because now, if he becomes a bad guy, I'm going to be disappointed. No, I'm going to watch it. Because I got to figure out. I got to figure out what Elsa did to him. I got to figure out how Morgan Freeman got some nutcrackings in his eye. There's a lot of things. We're going to have to go see it. When does it come out? November 2nd. November 2nd, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Looks pretty. Look, they're going to have some ballet. So if you're a ballet fan and want to see it, that girl missed it. My girl, look, my girl Misty Copeland ain't gonna play around with you. She's gonna bring bringing out her her ballet moves. So November second, be there. Until then, what do you do? Y'all know what to do. Subscribe. Bye.